guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are going to be doing more of a beginner type project. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to make a tadpole plush. I haven't done something just simple and fun for a while and I figured let's just relax and do something kind of cute. And if you guys end up enjoying today's project, maybe in the future we can do a frog or toad piece. I've done frogs before a long time ago, but I've never done a tutorial on them. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so for our tadpole, I left it really simple. I've got three different patterns for it all together, and this will probably be a really quick sewing project. So right here is going to be the sides. It's gonna have a left and a right, and then I also have a belly piece. So this will be the bottom of the tadpole. And then for mine, I decided I wanted to have slightly developed back legs, so I made this simple little pattern for the legs as well. Other than that, we are going to be making kind of a frilling effect going along the tail. So I'm going to start on that first. Okay, so this is the fabric that I'm going to use for the tail. So basically this is just a nice white sheer fabric. I've got it folded over and pinned together. And so what we're going to do is we're going to sew this and make kind of a ruffling effect for the tail. So how I'm going to sew this is I'm just going to take my needle and thread and I'm going to start at this end right here. And then I'm just going to kind of sew very simply in and out until I get to this end. And then I'm going to go all the way down. While doing this, I can leave my thread loose. I'm not going to pull it tight until I get closer to the end of having it all sewn together. So I'm just going to go in and out, in and out until I get all the way to the other end of the fabric. Okay, and then once we have it all the way to one end, I can start pulling it tight. Now, I want to pull it a specific amount, that way it wraps around the tail. So I am going to kind of measure it out, and I want it to be kind of like that. So I'm going to kind of just kind of tug it and distribute the wrinkles evenly throughout until it's the length that I want. So something kind of like this, I don't want it too, too wrinkly, just a little bit. I'll probably move these around a tiny bit more to make them even, but that's about the length that I want it. Okay, so now we're going to be making the legs for our tadpole. Now I'm actually going to be making three tadpoles, that's why there's three pairs. I'm not making like a centipede tadpole combination or anything like that, it's just easier to do them all at the same time. So what I did was I took the pattern, I traced it onto the fabric, and then I doubled up my fabric with the fuzzy side on the inside. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew around this with our sewing machine. Now the reason I didn't cut them out ahead of time, I'm going to do that later, is it's just easier with something smaller like this to just cut off the excess fabric after you sew it. So when you're sewing this, make sure you leave an opening. You'll want to leave it where you're going to connect it to the body. So right here is where we're not going to sew. But everything else, we're going to just follow these lines. Okay, so I got all six of my legs sewn, and now we need to cut them apart. So I'm going to get my scissors, and we're going to do that real quick. So with something this small, you'll want to get pretty decently close to it when you're cutting it out because otherwise whatever you don't cut off is going to bunch up inside of the thing that you're sewing. And so like with the little toes, all this extra fabric when you flip it is going to be inside of there. So if you have too much here, you won't be able to flip the toe right side out. Now with the toes and separating them, you want to get as close to the thread as you can at the very base of them because all that fabric will end up bunching up once you flip everything right side out and this will keep it from looking like there's just a clump of fabric right there. So you want to get pretty close, but you don't want to cut any of your thread. Okay, I got all of our tadpole's legs cut out. Now normally I would use a wooden dowel to flip this right side out, but that's not going to work because clearly this is too big. So what I'm going to end up using is a pair of pliers. Now when you do this, you want to be very careful because you don't want to tear or pull out any of your threads. So you're just going to kind of grab and tuck and push and all that different stuff to kind of get it to flip right side out. And the reason I'm doing this is because you can actually use these to kind of spread the fabric and then kind of reach in and pull more fabric out. 
but again, you have to be really careful. And you also want to make sure you're using clean pliers because otherwise you'll leave like little like marks on your fabric and you don't want to do that. You don't want to dirty anything up, especially if you're working with a lighter color. Okay, so I got my legs flipped right side out and now we're going to lightly stuff them. Now honestly, we probably won't get any stuffing in the toes. They're just a little too small, so I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to mainly try and get the body of the foot. And so this is when I can actually use a wooden dowel and with something this small, you want to use tiny bits of stuffing at a time so you don't get a lump. They kind of look like little fuzzy gummies. I don't know why, <laughs> but I got these all stuffed. And now what we're going to do is work on the eyes of our tadpole. Now for the eyes, I didn't have any glass ones available, so I just quickly made these out of clay. I painted them and then resined over them. So if you don't want to make your eyes, just get some glass eyes that you end up liking for the piece. But I didn't have any available, so I just made them. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some eyelids and kind of going around the eyes. Now you don't really have eyelids on tadpoles, but I want a way of framing them instead of just gluing them onto the side of the face and having them look kind of like googly eyes. I want them to look like they're actually set in the head. So I'm going to cut these apart and then glue them to a backing. I'm just going to use felt for this. Okay, so once we have the eyes glued to their backing, we're then going to start making the eyelids. So I have these little circles cut out and what we're going to do is we're basically going to add a little bit of glue to the backing of it and then I'm just putting a line right down the middle and then what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to fold it in half. And so I'm going to get all the eyelids glued and then I'm going to give them a few minutes to dry and then we can put them on the eyeballs. Okay, so to add the eyelids, what we're going to do is we're going to take two of them and we're going to decide on where's the top and where's the bottom and we're just going to kind of glue it like that. So I'm going to add my glue. This time around I think I'm going to use some hot glue just so that it'll dry faster and then I'm just going to wrap around the eyeball and press down. Get that in place and then we're going to do the same thing to the other one. So nothing too fancy, I just want to frame that eyeball. Okay, so our eyes are done. They are still drawing a little bit, but they're pretty much good. Now what we need to do is figure out how to put them on the sides of the body. So I originally, when I drew up my pattern, I had the eye like up here, and then I realized that leaves like that much gap between it when I put everything together because that's where these are going to be sewn together and I was like that's going to be really cross-eyed looking so I decided to lower it to about here so it'll have a decent amount of a gap between the two so it won't look so odd. I have that drawn out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to trace it onto the fabric pieces and then we'll cut it out on all of the fabric pieces. And then we're just going to lay it down and do that, just like that. And then we'll just cut this out. So I'm going to do this to all of the fabric pieces. Remember, we are making three tadpoles, not just one. So if you're just making one, you would just have your left and your right. So just like these two pieces. Okay, so I got all the eye holes cut out and now we need to cut these apart and glue them into place. So I'm not gonna do anything super fancy with cutting them out, I'm just gonna quickly do it. We need a little excess fabric around them so that's why they have a backing to begin with. So just kinda go around them real quick. I really don't want any like sharp edges cause it might leave a lump or something when the creature's all put together. So just kinda going around it like that. Okay, now we're gonna glue these into place. So I don't wanna get glue on my counter, so I'm just gonna lay it down on the excess felt that we have. And then I'm just going to take my fabric glue, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the edge of here. Just all the way around. And we're going to take this, and we're gonna push the eye through the hole and press down. And then you just need to wait for your fabric glue to dry and you'll have your eye in place. Just like that. 
Okay, so I gave my eyes a chance to dry, so I gave them about roughly 10 minutes. So the glue is not completely cured right now, but it's hard enough to where it's not going to fall out or do anything like that. So it's safe to work with right now. So now what we can finally do is start putting everything together. So we're going to start on the sewing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ruffle and kind of roughly figure out where it's going to be on the body. And then I need to mark on the tail where that's going to be. So I think we're going to be roughly about here. And I'm just going to draw a little line on one side. And the reasoning for this is that's where we're gonna stop sewing and then we're gonna start adding this. So I'm gonna take the two halves of the body and I'm going to put them together and we're gonna sew along the very top of them. So we're gonna go here, down to here. Okay, and then once I've sewn to this point, I'll give you a little sneak peek. So you can see how far apart the eyes are. They look so much better than they would have because they would have been up here. <laughs> um, but what we're gonna do now is add the little frill. And we're going to basically lay it between the two layers of fabric. Make sure the ruffles are where you want them. And we're just going to sew along this. And then we're gonna do the same thing when we get to the other side of the tail and sew the rest of it around that side. Okay, so I have the tail all done, and now we're going to add the belly and the back legs. The only thing is, I am going to be changing this up a little bit, because since I added the tail, I realized I don't need, like, all of this. So I'm going to cut this off and just kind of shorten it up a bit. Just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the belly piece and we're going to connect it to the body. So I'm going to start here and kind of go up about maybe an inch or so and I'm going to do that on both sides. And then once we have about an inch sewn, we're then going to take that leg and we're just going to put it right in between the two layers of fabric as we continue sewing and going up the side of the body. So we're just going to kind of put that there and sew along. Okay, so the sewing is all done pretty much, and I left a little hole right down the middle of the belly so that we could stuff it. So we're going to stuff it and then close up the last little bit. Okay guys, and these are our plush tadpoles. I had so much fun making them. They're very simple and cute, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I'm also going to have them on sale in my Etsy shops. So if anyone wants to buy any of them, go ahead and check the links down below for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!